Well, hello YouTube and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how I save my images for Instagram just to maintain so it still maintains the quality that I I worked on with. Yeah, um it's going to be very short because this actually doesn't really take time. It's very brief. So yes, let's go ahead and um into today's tutorial. So after you finish working on your image, it's advisable to crop your images to the recommended sizes of Instagram, especially and other social media. Now, if, if you go to if you select your crop tool, you would see that um, you select crop and come to your drop down button. You would see that um, you've got some options to choose. Now, Instagram, the, the sizes of Instagram they have portrait, they've got square, and then they've got landscape. Now, for portrait, you would have to choose the one by one, which is, a, no, sorry, for square, you would have to choose the one by one. For portraits, you choose four by five. And then for landscape, it's normally 16 by nine. Now, let me just show you how it looks like. Now, if you want the square, it's going to be like this. This is how it's going to look like. And um, if you want the landscape, choose 16 by 9. It's going to look like this. Yes, but um, in this particular image, it's a portrait. So I chose 4 by 5. And this was how it was. Yes, yeah, so always make sure you, when you're done and you're, you want to save, you choose a particular portrait, the particular size that you you want to save your image in yeah, and now um, just be crop yes and when that's done i just go to my file then i go to now when it gets to this point i don't i don't use save as i go to export and i come to save for web just let me just um control zero good now when i come here make sure i go to my image format that's in this part make sure you choose jpeg because that's the image that's the format of the image that we want to save in yeah um now the compression quality um make sure you choose high but it depends and some sometimes you could use very high sometimes you could use high but I normally use between high and very high but for today's tutorial let's go with very high and then the quality now the quality should always range between well I normally range mine between 80 and then 90 but for today's tutorial I think I'll just go with 85 just like this and um, when that's done make sure your embed color profile is checked check this make sure optimize is checked then make sure your convert to srgb is also checked make sure you check it and um, color preview should always be monitored this this preview and metadata so it doesn't really matter yes and um now when we when at this stage when you check when you look at the size of your image you will notice that it's um this is just for demonstration so you will notice that this image is 508.2 kilobytes but then when you come to the image size now instagram the the, the normal width for instagram images is always 1080 so when you come to image size you are supposed to change this figure to match with that of instagram now if if i put in my 1080 you would see that Photoshop will, autom Photoshop will automatically give you the height, the, the figure for height, because um, it will automatically match up with the figure that you've put in that 1080. Now, if I press enter, you would see that the, the image size reduces drastically. Now, if this image was about, um, if this image was about, let's say 4 megabytes 12 megabytes or higher 
you would have seen that it would have come way 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 down now I'm giving you a very reasonable size for you to upload on on any social any social media and sometimes if the image doesn't really come very if the size of the image doesn't really come down all what you have to do is just reduce the quality of your image sometimes if you take it way down to about let's say 80 you will notice that the size of the image changes it comes it becomes lower again so yes when you do this after this all what you've got to do is um, just press on your save button and then you have the option to save so you save your image to wherever you want to save it and you've got a very sizable and a very um, low sized image to save on to upload onto Instagram when you do this it's still going to maintain your quality nothing is going to change it's still going to be very 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 high in quality the only difference is that the size of the image is going to reduce which will make which will prevent Instagram from compressing your um, your image to a very small size now if you, if you don't do it this way and you save it normally is your file is going to be very large and when you're uploading it on Instagram Instagram will have to compress it to a size that will be able to fit on their system therefore reducing quality and all that so it's always better to save your images this way if you want to save it if you want to upload it on Instagram or any other social media so yes um, this is how I save my images for social media if you liked today's tutorial make sure to leave a comment make sure to um, share subscribe to my channel and watch my other tutorials and um, take out a little time to check me out on instagram follow me on instagram subscribe to my youtube channel yep and let's have fun goodbye and see you in my next tutorial